Yes, I know, but I, I was watching this. Yes, this. Uh, no, no, we're, we're doing Slumber Party now. I know, but couldn't we just, that was kind of a, I, yes, I was I a know. teaser, I'm teased, I, I, I've been teased, I want to see it now. Yes, but you're just being teased, Rick. No, Rick, Rick, concentrate. Okay. No, we have to do Slumber Party first, and then we can do that. that that's coming on later. Oh, you're treating me like a four-year-old, so if I, I do am. Slumber Party now, I get to watch this later. Yes, right. Okay, terrific, okay. fine. Well, let's, let's introduce let's, these let's lovely people. Beat it up, then. All right. <laughs> Over here we have Julie Simon. Hi. Hi, Julie. That was you on the. I saw your name there. You did. Yeah, it was spelled right. It was. You know? See the teaser. I want to see what Julie had to do there. Well, you will. All right. You can just wait. All right. I'm just for a minute. And Vin Grable sitting next to her. Here we Hi, go. Vin. Hi. And sitting in the corner, looking a little. <laughs> what can we say? <laughs> Hyper is our friend Jody Musoff. A Yay! very serious artist. Here. A serious artist. <laughs> <laughs> sitting here in her very serious pajamas. Wait, wait a minute. Does that mean we're not serious artists? No, 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 no. You are. You're serious artists of a different medium. Now, your artists are going to talk about different mediums. Ah, the really. ideal medium, really. And in fact, we're going to see, just, just to appease you. Thank you. Appease me. Well, uh, you? I will I'll appease you. Appeasing, appeasing. We're going to see one of the clips from your traveling. Which one are we, uh, video, right now? We're going to look at something? I thought we would. The, okay. um, we're going to roll a clip. Animated, we're going to roll a clip. The animated, um, the... Oh, yes, the computer animation by uh, Alan Price uh, called Inax Imperator, which is... No photographs, no video, it's all pr uh, produced on a computer. Wow! Like that noise. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, I'm not sure. Excuse me. I think, we should, <laughs> I think we should go to the clip, Pap. Roll it! This is so always exciting. Like to say that, I know. Isn't it great? What if he's not real? Oh, Here we go. Oh, that's not the program. explain what it means. You're so it's shallow, a, Lucy. I'm it's so a, uh, well, It's a world. It's a world far away from here. It's, who, a, it's who, an, who, another who place. Did it? Oh, Alan? that is completely done with computers? Yeah, that's right. Each, each that single amazing. frame, in other words, it has to be done over an amazing amount of time to produce something like that. Like traditional animation, <coughs> Mickey Mouse, you know, except that this is a computer. All, all done on a computer screen and then, and then edited to videotape. So this is Alan Price of Baltimore. And, uh, as opposed to Alan Price of Washington. That's, yeah. that's right. That's right. As opposed to that, or <laughs> Alan Price of the Animals um, as well. But that's you know, Alan Price uh, produced this work. Uh, <laughs> took him a long time to do it. It's one of uh, fourteen works in this program, which is, uh, as you saw, called which we saw the teaser for. Oh, the teaser. Have you seen? You've been teased a bit. Yes, that was great. It's the um, second annual AMAMA Traveling Film and Video Program. The AMAMA stands for Association of Maryland Area Media Artists. And the whole premise behind this is just so that you can have some outlet for your video work so that people can see it, so it can have right, exposure. And right, right. Well, also, we also look for funding opportunities and workshops and production help. Besides, exhibition is very, very important to us. But, and this is specifically for people who are independents, who are considering, them, considering themselves artists, not working for 
corporate commercial or gain. commercial. In other words, I think the, a, good exa a good definition is, <coughs> um, you know, independent work is one where you have complete editorial control. Nobody's, you're not doing it for anybody else. So they're private, personal visions, very similar, I think, to, to a painter. I was say, is, this, is this like um, like if Jody had a showing of her work? This is kind of comparable to that only it's dealing with this medium. Mm -hmm. And I suppose the thing about Jody is she can shove a painting in her house and people will see it casually. She can also have a show and it's a lot more accessible. Whereas well, people who work with video. But here we're showing it. For instance, this program it will be uh, cablecast on this very station here. And before ACT thirty three. But before that, what, how would you show your stuff? Could did you? Well, have you'd have address? to do it that way. You'd have to either uh, cablecast, broadcast, or bring it into uh, a gallery. Or, and we do that with this show, we bring it into a gallery situation. And this Thursday evening, can I plug this? Certainly, this of course. Plug it. Plug it. Plug it. Plug it. Plug it. Away. In fact, I've already cut you off from your ACT plug. So Thursday, I'll to that. <laughs> this Thursday, October 21st, uh, at the Corcoran Gallery of Art. Wait, wait, you better do that slower. You don't well, know when get your filming. pencils the out. We'll do Corcoran. this at the end That's again. Right. Write it down. Be there. No, we've these little uh, these these media artists of, of the Baltimore Washington area are uh, occupying and the isn't there Corcoran. A fabulously famous producer from Arlington. His and going to be part represented. of the program is a work by uh, Hap. Oh, you know, Highbush. Highbush with this Hi program. <laughs> 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 oh, no, we have, a, we have an excerpt of this very program, not this here, very episode. but you know, from six months ago, whatever. A very uh, interesting program was uh, is included in our Mama Show. My God. It's, well, yeah. no wonder you're here. We're just <laughs> showing. Just Good move, Hap. <laughs> Hey, Just it's the easy very to best. Get all on and it's party when you put his work in it. Absolutely. You know? So how long <laughs> is the complete compilation? It's an hour and forty minutes uh, to to run it uh, in linear time. Fourteen pieces and the cable series. No, no, no. But we don't like show it that way. You break it up and go to the free. <laughs> okay. No, no. The cable Stars. series is four thirty-minute programs. So we. Oh, so you, you will have a series that will be on ACT Channel Thirty Three. That's right. Very station. That's right. That will go on for four. Nights, Cons probably nights. weekly. You know, say, I can't tell you when it is. I wish I had that in info. But, but our avid viewers, well, I'm sure check. With look for visions. The second of Mama traveling film and video program. So, do you each have a, a segment? In it? I'm more. I see. I'm, I don't have a. I, He's I'm the, the boss. curator. He's the yeah. boss. Oh, okay. I, I help to choose this particular program, and I'm president of, the, of a Mama. So I had a piece in last year, but it's getting, you know, it gets a little unseemly to have a work in the program that you, yeah. right. you know, the organization. Because you do have the a piece. Yes. I have a piece. Do we get to see some of that? Yes, we do. Is it, is it a tease? Do I have to wait? What do you think, Judy? Do you want to hold out? Do you want to I make Rick like sweat? I, I, I want Rick to sweat a little All right. Well, Judy, why don't you tell oh. us about it? I'd love someone who likes to have me sweat. <laughs> I want to watch Rick sweat first. <laughs> 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 no, I made this piece, oh... I guess about a couple of years ago, uh, and I was, it started as a collaboration with a friend of mine when, it, when I was living down in North Carolina, and we came up with this quote, which is at the beginning of my film, and started playing with ideas and images that dealt with obsession, and our collaboration sort of fell apart, and um, I was, had this whole stack of sort of interesting images, and I decided to go ahead and make the film myself. So I railroaded all my friends who work for free and uh, bought some stock and, and landed a couple of grants and went out and, and shot this piece and... Um, where do you do post-production stuff? Where do you um, do it together? A lot of places. Places that give me, you know, as, as Vin was saying, you know, we work under, um, you know, we, we spend money, we don't make it. Uh, some of this was grant funded. A lot of the post-production was done at the University of Baltimore where I work. Um, some of it was done in my in in the attic of my old house, <laughs> on a uh, a very makeshift flatbed editor. Um, some of it was done at, at a couple of post houses in town that owed me favors in in Baltimore actually. And uh, how long is the there? piece? Six minutes. How long did it take to put it all together, film it? To film it, a couple of months, uh, off and on. To actually put from concept to creation was almost a year. Amazing. Now, would that Almost that would be years. easier, you think, if you had a facility that could enable you? I mean, the time would be reduced. N it was more not working on it and being mad at my former partner, and you know, <laughs> we had to fight a lot on the phone. You know, I mean, it's a photo opportunity. Yeah. Photo oh. <coughs> Quick, everyone, so now. Um, 
<laughs> oh goodness! Oh goodness again! Oh goodness again! <coughs> I'm sorry, bronchial. bronchial a, a nipple, a groin, everything. Now wait a minute. I'm being serious here. Oh, I know. This is something that a mama is trying to do, isn't it? To get a single facility where well, that's, this sort of that's thing can happen. Well, that's hard. Yeah. Um, the, the program that we're working on is is called an online program where we would be able to arrange with several uh, post-production facilities they would allow us to come in and work at very low rates. So you make an arrangement low with the best rate. facilities to get a drastically reduced rate for, again, for nonprofit uh, uh, projects. They couldn't, they'd get run out of town if they were giving discounts of that sort to commercial projects. So now, Julie, when you were making your mm -hmm. project, what, you were making it because you, you wanted to make because it. Because I wanted to make it. Um, what, what do you hope will happen with it? Or are you um, satisfied now that you've made it, that you've got it? Well, it's been seen. As I said, I made it a couple of years ago. So it's it's been seen in some galleries. It's been seen in, uh, it's traveling now with the Amama show. It's been a few places. It's been in a few festivals. Um, right now, I think it's going to bed. I think this the Amama traveling show will be its last sort of life for a while. And I'm working on a new piece now, and I hope to take it on the road uh, probably after the first of the year. So this is sort of like a hobby. Oh, it's sort of like my job. <laughs> Way to trivialize what someone does. No, but I mean, if no, I do this. This is what I. This is what I do. I produce television and I produce I wasn't film. Trivializing. For, for I wasn't trivializing. I was. I apologize, sir. I understand. Don't your art can also be your work. We all don't yes, have to work no. for government contractors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. You, you pay the rent from teaching. I pay the rent from teaching and from selling my photographs. Mostly from teaching. Mostly from teaching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that was trivialization. Yes, but they know each other. Yeah, well. Mm. <coughs> well, I think we should see the clip. Yeah. Oh, wait, now wait. Well, let's talk to Jody first and then come back and see the clip. Yeah. Are you going to fight with me? You've ignored On me. On air? Yes. Yes, oh, I will. See, I was going you. to see the clip and then we were going to come back to Jody. You'd rather. No, All right. no, let's oh, try. We've seen a little fine, video. Fine, fine. I'm going to do a little. Uh, Jody! <laughs> Jody. Oh, hi. Lucy's having a little <laughs> conniption. Huh? Um, that is a lovely little blanket you have over, the, over your shelf there. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what you do in terms of what mediums you work in okay. when you do and, and what you do. I remember I, I, um, I have one of Jody's that. prints. You're a great fan of Jody's. And I, I, I am, very much. Um, I, I saw this piece in her home and Jody... Stole it. And I didn't steal it. Um, my bag wasn't big enough. Um, <laughs> but she got me one, actually <clears throat> um, hand-colored it, and so now it's an original. Um, but I, I really enjoyed the work, and she, she had to teach me some of the terminology. It was a print, yes. and I was like, oh, that's a nice picture you drew. You know, yeah. I'm, very, I'm very artsy. And right, fine. and most people will say, go to <coughs> paintings. So, you know, right, so that's why I wanted you to explain to us just well, a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what, bit. why don't I hold it, and, and you talk. Am okay. Expose my wrist. Um, well, mostly what I do is colored pencil drawings, and so that's what that is. And I've done it for, oh, I don't know, 14, 15 years, something like that. And uh, and these aren't real people. Well, no a person and a deer. Right. No, they're imaginary people, mostly women. But I try to branch out, and, and I've done a man over there, but I don't know. And here comes the next one. Oh yes. Okay. I, and that's a print. Now, what's the difference between a, a print a is well, this is a lithograph, and you usually do a lithograph on a stone. You can also do it on a sheet of metal, but I think. I think the nicest thing is to do it on the stone because of the texture. And so you do an image in reverse, and oh. then it's printed up as many times as you want it. You that's usually do a small edition. And what is, does that mean? So it's third that's of that's 20? That's third one out of 20. See, I'm learning. All right, here we go. Good. Here is the next one. And that's a drawing. And so this is, this is the only one of this one? Yes, that's the only one. And here's a cat that munching on. a cat. girl with pussy on her head. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that one I call food chain. Usually I don't food have... Food chain? Yeah. Of course. So usually I don't have a very clever title. It's mostly just to identify what it is. And it would be sort of neat to have a really good title. That's an old... That's like 11 years old. And that's a lithograph. So this too. was another one I, on a stone. Wow, that's yes. great. I've done very little in different media. I try to... Tr I've been trying painting, but it's hard. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like it's that. Like, it's oh, like I don't know what I'm Racy not picture. sure. Oh, thank Racy God. picture. This one's in that awesome color too. pencil. Colored pencil. Mm. And Jodie, you work at home? So she yeah. from behind the picture. Yeah, I work at home. She has her own, actually her own little studio. studio. Who built that studio? Christopher Wilson built that studio. Yeah, a fine actor in town. <laughs> <laughs> and a dancer. How many is Christopher Wilson? Oh, Lucy, if only you could get your breasts to look like that. Oh, Rick. 
Thank Someone you. liked that, what came to my, our gal my gallery and liked that drawing, but they didn't like the fish. And I think the fish are very cute. I love the fish. The fish. They think they're, I guess they're too cartoony. Now, no, the fish are fine. Yeah. Jody, why fine. is, um, especially that one there, mm -hmm. why is it different <coughs> paint than working with this medium? What is, what, yeah, why is, what is the big difference? Why do you say one is harder than the other? Oh, well, oh, I well first of all, painting, I don't well, want to... These are paintings over here? That one is pa a painting on can the we, right. Can we see the painting? Am I in the way? And uh, first of all, I don't use turpentine. That's number one. I'm, kind, I'm paranoid about using toxic stuff, and so... Oh, God, a nature person. Well, I, well it really is. It gives you an instant headache, first of all, and it really is... Or an instant high. Depends on how you look at it, Jenny. <laughs> you need to open that scope of vision here. <laughs> well, anyway, so I don't use turpentine, and it dries a little slower, because that's what turpentine does. It, it makes, makes it dry. Painful. So it's harder to work with? It's yeah, so that's sort of hard. I don't know. It's, you'd have to do it. I mean, it's just... It's liquid, and it's thick. It's not... Um, I can get kind of a translucency on these things. With the pencil. And you, yeah, and you can't get it on that, and so it's like, well, maybe I should just do t something totally different on it, but it's... Uh, now, the other picture <laughs> here is, is, again, the colored pencils. Yes. The man. The colored pen, the Who man. Who I look like. Yes, you sort of look like Only him. he has more hair. Ow! <laughs> yeah, there's a man. In my last show, I did mo a lot of men. And now your last show was where? Gallery That's funny. Page. My last show, I did a lot of men, too. <laughs> <laughs> you are a pig. Yes. She's talking about something completely different. She's talking about art. I am, too. No. I'm sorry, oh Jody. Art um, Smith. Gallery Art Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Cheesy. Cheesy. Gallery Cheesy. K is at DuPont Circle, and that's where I usually show. And I showed there about <clears throat> six months ago, I guess, five months ago. And do you show for commercial gain as well as... Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. In fact, I take Visa, MasterCard, <laughs> and here's my number. Anybody <laughs> who's interested in purchasing one of Jody's lovely pictures can certainly contact the studio and we will be in touch with them. And are you showing again soon somewhere else? or is Actually, I'm showing right now, but I don't know how when this is... Well, tell us when. Where? Uh, till October 31st. And where are you At showing? Georgetown University. It's a group show, but I have five drawings up. I don't know how often they're open, you know, weekends or something. You'd have to I call. got an invitation to that. Oh, That's right, I She's very lovely about sending me these invitations. Yeah. I seem to get my butt there. Oh, well, mm -hmm. it's all right. Anyway. It is hard sometimes. Yeah, sure. That's okay. <laughs> sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I knew this was going to turn ugly. And, and do, you, do you live off the income from your pictures, or is it just... Well, I have occasionally. Oh, that's terrific. But right now, things are slow, as you can imagine, in the art world. Tell us a Sweden story. Sweden? I, I love this story. Well, I had a, ga oh, I had a gallery in New York, and that it's very good to have one because everyone seems to work. A captive gallery in New York? I mean, the, a gallery that... Yeah, her name was Monique Norton. And good she was tame. I mean, you, she, she, you showed there frequently. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy's but decided to speak that. in code now. <laughs> <laughs> so if you just nod and smile at her, we'll get through all of this. Ahead, and so, Joey. so right. then a gallery in Sweden, a man from Sweden came over and saw my stuff there and, and um, he showed my stuff. It was They loved it. They've like shown, they sold 40 things one year. It was amazing. Wow. That's mm. great. In Sweden. They liked, yeah, in mm. Sweden. And also, now I'm going to toot your horn a little bit because I know that there's uh, an amazingly well-off woman over there oh, right, who, woman loves, the who loves your stuff. And actually went up to um, Sweden. Christopher I think. and th they were showing... Um, a, yeah, a bunch right. of Jody's work, and you know, you get a little program, uh, the the invitation, oh, right. and there's a, whatever, like the big expensive main thing is on there. And what did she make the comment, Christopher, something about? Well, I guess I'll have to buy this one, and, and uh, I've already bought one, but this one's on the cover. Yeah. I guess I'll have to buy this one. <laughs> How fabulous! Jody, <laughs> yeah, that was just overpriced. Whatever you put on the front of the table, yeah. yeah. and that was half a million. Yeah. That. That's, That's good. I like that idea. That's great. It was. Think, it was very nice. I'm going to okay. go back to painting. I, I started this painting. I'm gonna, I think I'll take it up again. Uh, you well, can put, know, video you know, is put very, it on the front. You know, video is very uh, we're talking uh, topical about, now. But what Lucy's saying, though, video, you can't, there's no, it's no market for it. There's no buying and selling of it. It's only, as Julie says, it's only in getting awards, mm -hmm. an well, occasional well, rental. It's also, take, it's I'm also a photographer, and ranch, I show a, my photography a lot more. It's also. Because it, I have a friend that, that, brought, that really brought this down. He says, you know, you don't have to commit to a photograph, where you have to commit to a film or video. That's the you thing. You have to sit there for five exactly. minutes or ten minutes and commit We're to it. So a used photo to you can move across. Instant gratification. Yeah. yeah. You want yes. to glance and see it, get it, and, and like it or dislike it. With a mm -hmm. video, you have to sit down, watch it, and go, hmm. People exactly. don't want to take the time also, to go, don't you think right. Think right. That mm. is that really it just sums it, it up. That's sad. That, yeah, that's sad. Part is good though. I kind of yeah, like I like the hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Can we all do that briefly? Well, mm -hmm. I tell you what, we, no, we should see the video and then we'll go. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, I have a quick question. Is that, um, is the reason that, <coughs> that it's easier with the photography or the painting in terms of getting it seen, is that only because that has been set up? That's something that's been, I mean, video is a fairly recent yes. form it's and perfect. maybe just hasn't found its way of being shown yet. And maybe some of the stuff right. you're doing right now, we'll find out in a few years, is exactly how I it will be so. seen. And you won't years, have the same 28 problems. years is as old as the first video, independent video work was done. That's when portable equipment was, was done, uh, or it was uh, coming out. Mm -hmm. It's a very young medium. I mean, compared to film, cinema, 100 years, and then, of course, painting. Well, how could you possibly see it, I mean, like in the home, in the way that you would have a photograph? Cassettes uh, or various kinds of discs. Um, but you have to look for it. I mean, you have to go to specialty places, specialty yeah. um, distributors. You have to be interested in it or take classes at a university. Um, I'm sorry, to see area, you'd, have to, you'd have to go to Washington Project <laughs> for the Arts, WPA, great place, or uh, occasionally the Hirshhorn has something with video in it. And the other thing is video. Wait a minute, the Cochrane, October 21st. Well, the Cochrane, oh, yes, October well, 21st. Yeah, that's the yeah, Mama show. That's Thursday. Plug, plug, uh, that would be the plug, second plug, plug, plug. vision. 7 to 9 p.m., the second of Mama traveling film and video program. I had to plug it in. You're in it. Well, that's why I'm plugging it. That's why I'm here. I mean, I wouldn't be sitting on the bed. You might see the camera. She would be behind the camera and not sitting here on the bed. It would be a lot more comfortable. Some of the cheap talent. Hurry up, hurry up. Faster, But you're in this. We're going to see Julie in this piece, though, too. All right, Julie, let me ask you a question. As a director, is it time to. To view your piece? I think it's time to view Roll tape. Piece. Roll tape. Hold on. Pat, did you Five, hear that? Roll four, tape. Three. They're scurrying. Two. They're scurrying back there. Well, maybe they're not <laughs> ready for us yeah. now, Rick. I think we've They're ready. Too much. Take a See, purge. Look, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Projection and film. That's a tip off. Obsession, burning head. I can't be alone anymore. Frustrations with my life, myself. The need to be someone else. Sweat dripping. He hasn't arrived. Disappearance of my soul. Things never said. Stay with me. Never once alone with myself. Peaceful existence. Forgotten long ago. Images of him in photographs. Paintings telling the story. Reasons to go on without you. Reasons to forget you. Liberation. Frustration. Softly touching my breasts. Tracing my features with your tongue. Your eyes staring relentlessly, unable to reach your gaze. Slow, calculated, erotic ecstasy. Hidden emotions, feelings, things left unsaid intentionally. Fills my head with thoughts. Fills the immediate want, not the long-term need. God, you're a star. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One together. Yeah, we all, we all pondered. <laughs> that was only a clip, by the way, too. Yeah, that's, yeah that's it's six, six, it's six minutes. Two piece, minutes, right? piece, Yeah, the piece runs about six minutes long, and that was just about the first two minutes. It's pretty steamy, actually. It is. It's great. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Well, or, uh, the Corcoran Gallery, October 20th. <laughs>
Enough, you of, can see enough it. of this. But not right here. That, you on don't even channel. have to yes. leave your home. You could just you could watch just TV. You could just watch it on TV. That's right. Channel Look right here. Channel 33. Channel 33, a pretty good place. I think so. <laughs> wow. Uh, the, um, what you said about the images being set up, and I mean, that's very evident that you had the these images that you put a through line through. The, um, yeah. What is the the thing we just saw, the sh the sheet image with the shadow? Mm -hmm. What what was that? It was a sheet. <laughs> and, and shadow. <laughs> I used to live it was in this, this old house in, in sort of central Baltimore that had 14 foot ceilings and I hung, I literally hung an old white sheet from the ceiling. I'm giving up all my trade secrets. <laughs> from the ceiling backlit it so you get a shadow. And then it was just movement behind it, and all the, the way the image no. moves is just the sheet moving. I had a fan going on it. Yeah. And somebody else was the shooting it? Was yeah, <clears throat> uh, a really wonderful photographer out of North Carolina, Carol Cassie, shot most of it. I shot about a third of it, uh, pretty much the see. last third, which we didn't see, I shot. Um, but Carol has done a lot of work for me, um, both in my personal work and in a lot of corporate work I've done, and she's really terrific. You have to keep an eye out for her. Because this is something you haven't thought of yet, Rick, is directing yourself in something that you could also star in. <clears throat> Although oh, I have yeah. been in several shows where <laughs> I did have to do that. <laughs> you know, it's not easy. Well, you know, it's easy in a way to direct yourself because you know what you exactly want what you and want you give see. yourself what you want. On the other hand, you have no objectivity. That's what I was gonna say. I think it'd be very hard to step nobody out. Tells you. Right, <laughs> and also very hard to step out and see like the big picture of, of how everything is. I know that. That's we shot this on videotape before we shot the film. We shot every take on videotape, and, and we so looked it on the too. monitor, and we just kept shooting it on video, which doesn't really cost anything when you when you borrow your university's equipment. <laughs> um, before we shot the film, right. this was shot all in black and white film, and uh, that's the way we did it because I kept watching the performance until I got something I liked. And then Carol contributed a lot. I mean, a lot of the, the ideas. She took the ideas I had and really fine-tuned them, mm -hmm. working as the photographer. It's really wonderful to work with somebody who thinks the same way you do. Sure. Hmm. Isn't we it? We know that, don't we? Oh, really? It's a beautiful piece. It's Thank you. Yeah, see all of it. I think I'll sit on my couch and view it. <laughs> <laughs> um, or perhaps we'll go to the Corcoran Gallery on the 21st of October. Also, also Montgomery Community Television and Baltimore County uh, Comcast uh, cable is also They're carrying also it. Mm -hmm. They're carrying the series uh, <coughs> over the, uh, the fall and winter, 93, 94, and uh, that's and we hope to continue cable casting it. And I'm it's assuming a, that Amama is going to continue on with the. Yes, the for those of you out there, there, those of you out out there who are producing works, uh, please. Uh, the call for the next show will be going out in Dece December. So. And we they will can contact you through the University of. Well, Maryland. that's not a bad place. I forgot my... We have a newsletter. Um, yeah, Department of Visual Arts, UMBC. Do you have a number? Baltimore 21228. I'll give a phone number. Go ahead. 410-750-0195. 410 I feel like we're on a Judy. cheesy telephone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Send your you need Operators. But not for any of the really big kids. diseases yeah. you understand. <laughs> Operators are standing by. Right. <laughs> I want to see a flashing Chiron, okay? You know. That's well, sorry. We're just the talent. Chiron, no, I we know can't what do that. that. Is that the word? I, I'm sorry. So, so Judy, all you need to do is videotape your artwork. That's right. And they do it. that at the Louvre now, you know. Do they? That's French. Hey, there I we mean, go. No, I mean you can buy. Like, well, then we can combine the all these fabulous guests that we've had. That's right. That's right. I'd like to thank you all very much for coming on. It's really been a, a thrill to speak to not only you but also about your artwork. And thanks, Jodie, for bringing all your stuff again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And great. thank you, Rick, for replacing Mars for me. Certainly. Not yeah. a problem. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Such a challenge. <laughs> thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Now's the time.